Hey, Daniel Hedal here. How's it going? Good to see you guys and thank you for tuning into this video here. Uh, I'm very happy that you're here watching. That's great news. Praise the Lord. So I'm an evangelist, um, a preacher. I uh, ignition people. I love to activate people into a supernatural lifestyle with the Lord. So that's really, really good. Amen. So I live in Norway, and um, so this is, it's going to be like my, my weekly video here, update with you guys to share uh, exciting things that's been happening. And so anyway, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2020. What a great year. I'm so excited. Um, for me and for my, some friends that I have, we have been getting uh, that uh, the, the word for 2020 is, uh, that the, the theme is, Breakthrough, hope, and joy. Breakthrough in your situation in life. Hope into your life right now in things you're standing in faith for. And tremendous joy from God. Because <laughs> the, the joy of the Lord is our strength. So that's a really, really good thing. Praise the Lord. So I want to read with you guys the scripture here. It says in the book of Matthew 5. 14 to 16, here in my Amplified Bible. Uh, you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor does anyone light the lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that may, they may see your good deeds and moral excellence and recognize and honor and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Praise God. So that's the word for you folks watching. Know that God is with you and he just wants you to shine. You know, he wants you to, to be a reflector of the glory of God. It says Christ in you, the hope of glory, right? The Messiah inside of you, the anointed one inside of you. He, he has anointed you with his gifting, with his glory, with his spirit, with his gifts and his power. To, you know, to function, to be a light to, in the darkness, to heal the sick and to move in a supernatural power of God. And it's, it's for you to do it. It's for you to walk in it and just really be a, a witness for the Lord. So just, um, so this past week here, this weekend, I went to Bergen in Norway, which is almost like the capital. I'll say it's the spiritual, uh, uh, sub. Uh, hot sub or what do you say for Norway like this is where it's take off this is like where the people are meeting and and it's just so many churches there and so much glory in that place amen uh, so um, I went to something called Acts 8 it's an organization we've started uh, uh, together with uh, with Stainer Loftness, Amy Charrett, Sebastian Lee Mellon, uh, Richard, Richard Norval Nate Nosness, Mallet, and, and myself, and we are meeting up there, you know, just hanging out. It's a network of evangelists in Norway and the North and Europe, and meeting up together to just, you know, build relationships, share experiences. So, so this week, week we had meeting and we uh, got to like, you know, so to say, kickstart people because... We started at nine o'clock in the morning and we finished 11 o'clock at night. We had like 18 speakers in and it was amazing. So most of it is in, uh, is in Norwegian, sadly, but we do have some really good stuff here from uh, our good friend, Matthew King, who is uh, the Bible leader at the Bible School Impact in Bergen. So, uh, so check, check out here. Uh, uh, a little uh, preview from his message. A season in my life that was one of the most important seasons of my entire life. Och den dagen var begynnelsen på den viktigaste viktigaste säsongen i mitt liv. I all of a sudden was dreaming about evangelism. Plötsligt började jag drömma om att jag skulle dreaming about the cross of Jesus. Jag drömde om Jesus kors. And I started to in my prayer time all I started to think about was Jesus on the cross. Och i bönetid men bete bara tänka på Jesus på korset. Just one day in, in, a, in, a, in a room in my house just having a time of prayer and worship with the Lord. Jag husker när jag var och bad på rummet i bönolåsan. And I had this 
vision what with my eyes closed. I had that seen my eyes and my look at eyes closed. I just saw Jesus being scourged at, in Jerusalem. Og jeg så Jesus bare bli pisket i Jerusalem. And, and seeing him look me in the eyes as he was being scourged and seeing that that was for me. Og jeg kunne se Jesus øyne og se at han gjorde and, det for meg. And mig. I just started to be undone by specifically the work of the cross. Og jeg bare ble helt ødelagt når jeg så Jesus være på korset. And, and then I'm having dreams with evangelists in them all of a sudden. Og så begynner jeg å drømme med evangelister i dem. Once every week or two, all of a sudden, I've got Reinhard Bonkies in my dream. En eller to ganger i uka, så drømte jeg om Reinhard Bonkie. Daniel Kalenders in my dream. Daniel Kalenda var en drømme. And all these evangelists, to, I, I, I'm dreaming a lot about evangelists. All of these evangelists, I dreamt about them. And I had a very powerful dream one particular night with Reinhard Bonkie in it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed listening to Matthew King there. It's just so good. You can hear his... Uh, the whole message she has on Facebook and you can find also on YouTube. So praise God. So that's really possible. During during this um, this time here, I was just so happy to meet, you know, great uh, people in Norway who are walking with the Lord and has uh, have a tremendous love for him. Uh, I just feel so honored to be together with them. And so on that day, we had uh, this uh, one day event. I got to uh, pray for uh, this lady who came to me and she was like, I really want the gift of tongues. I feel like it's a burial, burial there. I can't get through. And so I told her if she was baptized and I said, uh, there, like in the Bible, we see that the Holy Spirit comes upon believers as they're being prayed for and they get that gift of tongues, you know, with the baptism of the Holy Spirit and then they get baptized in water. And also we have people who repent get baptized in water and then they receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and baptism and uh, speaking of tongues and so I, I told her about that and so we prayed but and she received the Holy Spirit right there she had the Holy Spirit but she received the gift of tongues and it was just so great to see her joy like she was in tears and I love that so so good praise the Lord amen uh, also, when I took the train down to Bergen, I uh, got to share with someone about Jesus. I love sharing with people and I got to prophesy, I got to pray and just really share my testimony. So I just want to encourage you this year to share your testimony with people. Be a light, like be a light. But if you're going to be a light, you need to spend time with Jesus. You need to set up a time where you're going to be filled up with his presence, with his spirit, with his goodness. Because in order for you to give out, you have to receive from him. And as you're receiving, you're going to be able to give out to other people. That's just how it is. You know, you have to be filled up. You have to spend time with the Lord. You know, like um, living a lifestyle with Jesus is not about doing things. It is about grace. Yes, but you know that good habits does create good results. So when you have a habit of reading the scripture, praise the Lord, like things happen. When you have a habit of praying in tongues, things happen when you have a habit of seeking God, like you're, you're going to see results. So I'm just like, seek God, you know, start in the morning with prayer, start seeking him, start spending time in his presence. It's just a really um, good thing. I do have a devotional book that I am reading. It's called uh, the, in, the, in the Lord's Presence. I love it. It's really, really good. Um, I'll recommend you to get it on Amazon or something. You can, and if you, it has really good sermons. And also, if you uh, read it, you'll have to, you'll read the Bible through the year if you follow the Bible plan. So that's a good thing. So uh, praise God. Thank you so much for watching this video here on my on this uh, vlog video update from me from Daniel. I love you. Please subscribe to this channel here. Subscribe. Check out um, the Facebook page. And also check out um, uh, our newsletter that comes with teachings, video, updates. Let's stay tuned and be a light for other people. Love Jesus, love other, and love yourself with the love of God. And then you'll be able to love other people. Thanks for watching. See you later.